Hi there, this is Sir Matigo and welcome to my channel. I am going to show you how to factor a perfect square trinomial. How do you know that an expression is a perfect square trinomial? Let's start with perfect squares. A perfect square is expressed as a product of the square of a number. For example, 9 is equal to the square of 3. 100 is equal to the square of 10. So, 9 and 100 are called perfect squares. A perfect square trinomial look like this. a squared positive 10a positive 25. A perfect square trinomial is a product of the square of a binomial. I already have discussed this one and I will paste the link in the description below. For example, we have the square of a positive 5. To get the product of this, we have to square the first and the last terms. We have square of a and the last term is square of 5. To get the middle term, we are going to get the product of the first and the last term times 2. So we have 2 times a times 5 and our final product is a squared positive 10a positive 25. That's the answer. And this expression is a perfect square trinomial because this is the part of the square of a binomial. So how are we going to factor this one? We are going to work backward in factoring this perfect square trinomial. So let's start. We have a squared positive 10a positive 25. We are going to express in squares the first and last terms. We have a squared and in the last one, we have 5 squared. For the middle term, we have to extract 2 from the constant. We have 2 times 5 times a. Or we have 2 times a times 5. Because in the middle term, we need to have the product of the first and the last term times 2. So the factor of this perfect square trinomial is the square of a positive 5. Another example. Factor 4x squared negative 12xy positive 9y squared. Let's express the first and last terms as a square of number. For 4x squared, we have the square of 2x. And for the 9y squared, we have the square of 3y. For our middle term, we need to have 2 as our multiplier. And we need to have factors similar to the first term and the last term. So for negative 12xy, we have 2 times 2x times 3y. And this is our factor. We have the square of 2x negative 3y. Now, how do you know that an expression is a perfect square trinomial? This is what we have to do. We are going to express the first and last terms as squares. Factor the middle term in such a way that the factors will be like the first term and the last term times 2. If we can do this, then that expression is a perfect square trinomial. If it cannot be done like that, then it's not a perfect square trinomial. 